Thank you. I'm uh, very honored to be asked to give a presentation here. And um, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, political blogging. But uh, the question is, why, why should you listen to me? Um, I'm not a politician. I'm not even a traditional political blogger. Uh, I write about how technology is impacting society. Uh, and to make matters even worse, I'm from Norway, a country that is not even a member of the European Union. So, uh, but um, when I've said that, I've been reading political blogs for years. I did my master's degree at uh, Georgetown um, in uh, communication technology. And um, I spend more time thinking and researching and experimenting with online conversation and online engagement than actually is healthy for you. So if you search for my name online, these are some of the places you're going to find. I do uh, a Norwegian blog um, uh, about uh, how we're using these tools online. Uh, I used to update our English blog, but I don't have time for that anymore. I'm uh, on Twitter, as all of you. Um, and I read about my uh, friend's uh, dinner plans on Facebook. And you can find my CV on, uh, on LinkedIn. But, uh, um, and this fall, uh, the, this year, I started something called the Girl Geek Dinners uh, in Oslo to gather all the coolest the girl geeks in Norway. And um, right now I'm working at Urigo and uh, at this platform you can uh, create your own blogs and you can create your own social networks. Uh, and uh, more than 2,000 politicians are registered there. So you can say that I get a huge dose, maybe even an overdose of political blogging. Um, and um, why I'm so concerned about this topic is that 11 years after we got the first blogging tools, blog.com, in uh, 1999, uh, I still see that a lot of politicians have problems engaging their readers. And uh, I still see too much shouting. I want to see more dialogue. So before I head down to the don'ts, I want to do a little game with you. I want you to show me a uh, Sorry. Um, I, I asked all my uh, people in my social network, uh, what are the devices you would like to give to polit political bloggers? What are the don'ts of political blogging? And I got a lot of response from some of you are here as well. And uh, now when I start the don'ts, I want you to show me a thumb up like this, if you agree, and thumb down if you disagree. So this is old fashioned polling. Okay, ready? <laughs> Don't lie, be open. <laughs> Who can say no on that one? <laughs> Sorry? Okay. <laughs> Sorry? All blogging is lying. Okay. <laughs> Don't be impolite. Manners count online as well. Okay. Don't leave comments unanswered. Pick some and respond. That's a tough one. <laughs> Don't let your blog look like a collection of letters to the editor. <laughs> Don't write pieces that are journalis journalistically complete. Leave something for us to respond on in some kind of way. Big thumb up here. <laughs> Don't underestimate your readers. They are at least as smart as you are. <laughs> Big one here as well. <laughs> Don't act like someone else. Be yourself, be brave. <gasps> oh. Don't use ghostwriters. If you have to, why bother with a blog? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> A big thumb down. Don't hide your sources. Link to them. We agree on that one. Okay, this is controversial. Don't use sarcasm. No matter how clever and witty you are, tons of people will misunderstand. 
<laughs> okay. So let's go to the bright side. This is important. Content is still king. Write interesting blog posts. Engage us. Define what is the purpose of your blog. Tell it to your readers. And I, on the positive ones, I want to show you some examples. Uh, this is Simon Dixon, and he writes, has been blogging about e-government, online politics, and WordPress since 2005. Some imp important people read it. Read the comments and decide which to respond to. Explain your dialogue policy to your readers. And this is a Norwegian politician uh, from the Labour Party, uh, Hadja Tajik. And here she's explaining that she's going, to write, she's going to read all the comments. She's not going to respond to all of them, but she's going to select a few of them. And then she's uh, uh, answering uh, directly to the person who, who wrote uh, the comments. Learn from your readers and treat them with respect. This is a blog uh, by Europa. Arupa Sionara, and she writes, very honored to have such a good selection of great female bloggers commenting on this post. We rock. That's nice. Be creative. Communicate with more than words. There's so many words out there. We also need to use some other um, way of presenting our uh, opinion. Images, video, animations, data visualizations. And I really like this one from Cory Booker, where he asks everyone to uh, come with questions on, uh, either on Facebook or on, uh, on Twitter. And he's going to re uh, respond by a video response next week, he says. Spread your content to many places and platforms, but remember to adjust the message to the platform. And here's a video of the Norwegian Prime Minister jogging to the top of a mountain in, uh, in Bergen, and it's on his Facebook uh, profile. Give your readers assignments. Encourage specific feedback, comments, ideas, links, images. And here it's um, Nelly Kroos, the commissioner, commissioner for the Digital Ag Agenda. She's asking people to tell how we can better manage the, um, the availability of, of uh, public data. This is from her blog. Get fans and cheer on each other, help each other spread the message and the attention. And here are some EU bloggers in action on Twitter. And use your blog and social media network to brainstorm political ideas. I want to see much more of this. Uh, this is a Norwegian politician, Bordvega Solia, uh, from the Socialist Left Party, and is doing a digital hearing on his blog. And uh, uh, follow relevant conversations other places. Uh, comment on the other places, link to them, and why not bring the conversation back home to your blog? And I uh, just want to show an example from a previous uh, commissioner uh, in the EU, Margot Wallström, where she's actually giving a shout out to some EU bloggers, John Wirt, Clive uh, Nose Monkey, Julian Frisch, and Rolf Gran. Surprise us, I think that's important. Um, write about something different for a change. And this is the Swedish uh, foreign minister, uh, Carl Bildt, and he's writing a blog post about what kind of books he's reading these days. And no surprise, he's actually reading Bob Woodward's Obama's War. And finally, if you manage, this is a tough one, write shorter, easier, funnier. And since we're in this beautiful location today um, with ideas about enlightenment, this is a Norwegian blog called uh, Office of Enlightenment, and they have the solution for peace in the Middle East. If everyone could dress in the same clothing, um, one piece, then we could get, become one people. Uh -huh. So that's all from me. Thank you. <laughs> I see that.